Hello, this is Dan Pro. Welcome to my rigging channel. This is part 3B of my advanced deformation tutorial series. This is going to be a quick tutorial to show you the fix that I mentioned in part 3 that I promised. As I was recording part 4, I thought that this fix, as I introduced it in that tutorial, it was creating uh, it was making that tutorial too long and uh, taking the focus away from what I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you the rolling problem they have in the two bone deformation system. And that happens basically whenever you rotate your thigh above about the 90 degree mark and add some side to side rotation. The first bone in that, uh, the first deformation bone is going to roll slightly out of position. And this is going to be a quick fix, and it's an optional fix, whether you want to use it or not. I do have another demonstration here of that. For this, I have enabled the fix on the left bone, which is on the right side of the screen, and I have not enabled it over here. So you can see the difference of the two. You notice that the right side bone, the one on the left side of the screen, is just kind of rolling out of position, and it's creating an odd deformation at the uh, top end of the thigh and the buttocks area. So. I will show you how to set this up. Again, this is optional, so if you don't want to use it, perfectly fine. I'm going to go to the intermediate thigh bone, select it in edit mode, shift D to create a duplicate, and then I want to rotate it forward, but I want to make sure that it's rotated forward on its local x-axis, the way I have my bone set. So I need to change my transform orientation or make sure that it's set to normal. And that way I can type RXX35 so 35 to 40 degrees forward and now I have a bone that's basically in line with the main bones in my leg but it's just slightly rotated forward it's very important that you don't introduce any other rolls to this to make this work properly I'm going to scale it down a little bit it doesn't need to be that large rename this to MCH roll fix next I want the parent of MCH roll fix to be the same as the deformation thigh.001 so I'm going to go to the bone properties tab find the parent control C to copy that name and then I'll go back to the roll fix bone and control V to paste it so it has the same parent next all we need is a single copy rotation constraint targeting the MCH roll fix that needs to go on the thigh bone shift control C add the copy rotation now this is currently broken in this uh, situation and the reason is is I need to reorder my bone constraints so I want it to copy the rotation of the roll fix bone and then damp track to the secondary thigh bone over here so if I just change the position that is going to fix that now again this is not a true fix for the rolling issue this is just basically forcing the rolling to happen out of the range of the normal operation of the thigh bone so as you can see now it is a little bit more well behaved it's not rolling quite so severely and we are off and running now unfortunately this fix does not work as well up in the upper arm when you're using the two bone deformation system we're going to have to have the manual fix for this and that will be coming up in the um, squash and stretch tutorial where I'll give you direct control over that top deformation bone and the reason that fix doesn't work up there is because the range of motion I've not been able to figure out a uh, orientation for a bone up there where the range of motion is going to work because the range of motion for an upper arm is just a lot uh, it's just greater it, it's well over 180 degrees so unfortunately again that doesn't work however that's not a problem we are going to add those squash and stretch controls and we will have direct control and you're basically only going to find that when you get your arm rotated above the head now just to round out this tutorial as I like to I always give as much information as I possibly can. Let me talk about the upper arm. So I commonly see a posing issue where people have posed their arm up like this and then they've come to the Blender Artist forums or other forums like cgcookie.com and they wonder why their deformations look bad at the shoulder. And that is because this is actually humanly impossible for you to rotate your arm up like that. And you can actually test this right now. If you put your arm out to about the T-pose position, take your other arm and put it on the shoulder and make sure that you're not involving your shoulder at all and try to lift it up from that spot. This is the limit of rotation for your upper arm until you involve your shoulder and it's usually not a deformation problem it is a posing problem where the shoulder has not been involved enough as you lift your arm above that t-pose position so always keep that in mind involve your shoulder whenever you get above that and related to that issue 
you can see that my character is set with an A pose so it's not T pose, not out to the side and not strictly straight down it's basically right in the middle of those and I find that setting up the weight paint and the topology of my mesh is just going to give me a better deformation at the shoulder because like I mentioned the T pose is the upper limit of that rotation already and the normal position of your arm is straight down to the side so uh, having it right at the middle is going to help with the deformation setting up the weight paint and of course our topology needs to be um, correct as well because when we're weight painting basically what we're having what's happening is we're just having those vertices accordion in and out to create that deformation so the loops need to be in the correct direction so I hope those tips help until next time looking forward to part four we do the squash and stretch Good luck.